for me, I look at it at this. Um, I love MVP to death. MVP's great at whatever he does, no matter what. And don't get me wrong, MVP, he's not what you say the greatest wrestler, but he's a good wrestler. And although MVP is a good wrestler, he's a better manager. It's just something about him being a management, something about him managing people that brings a fire to people. When MVP manages you, not out of 10 times you're going to succeed and you're going to win. Now the only reason why you don't succeed when you're alongside MVP is if you don't succeed. Ooh, that was close. And if you don't succeed, you pretty much failed yourself. But if you stay beside MVP, you will succeed, you will win. Take a look for example. Ever since Bobby Lashley, oh, those lights are tremendous. I love those lights. Ever since Bobby Lashley has joined side of MVP, his reigns has went up higher and his level of fight has went up higher. And when Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander was with MVP, they won the tag team championships. So it's only fitting to see MVP be a manager, a better manager than he is a wrestler. And I'm not taking nothing away from his wrestling uh, credentials or his wrestling credit. Like I said, if MVP wanted to be a world champion, he would already do it. It would already be done. But because MVP takes a step back and allows wrestlers to win and succeed, that's what makes MVP legendary, and that's why he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday.